Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John with another Android Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be discussing the background of the last app that we did, which was a splash screen uh, for your future use. We're going to be talking about several of the uh, background things that went on and some of the folders that we used and, and just how apps work. Uh, so that you can have a, a better understanding of how that works. One of the first things we're going to talk about is this, the res folder. But uh, there's a little extra that I want to add to this uh, before we get started. So let's just click on the widgets, large text, put a new large text, and we'll really quickly um, test, add a new text there. All right, now you see this little arrow, this little light bulb right here. Just click there. Hard-coded string tests should use string resources. Now, every time you add something like this, a uh, text, uh, a resource, uh, a lot of times this bubble will come up when you can uh, externalize uh, that particular resource. And that's very important. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit uh, in, this, in this tutorial. So what I want you to do is click the little arrow and just click the Extract String Resource give it a name I'm gonna call it test and then say OK all right and then at string right there and then you can push the rewind and it'll get rid of that error now what this has done it has put into here the res folder under values under strings XML that right there and what this does is it it, it it puts all your text into one file so that it have like a master file under which you can have all your text now this becomes extremely useful later on instead of having to hunt down every piece of text that you have on a, a particular app they're all centrally located in one place and you can come back in here and, and change this at, at will. Like if we wanted to say something other than test, testing, we could change it. Oops. Then when we go back to the main activity, it would be testing. So it's a centrally located archive for all your strings. Not only that, but this becomes extremely useful later on when you're doing translations. For instance, you want to translate your mod into French. Well, all you have to do is translate one place because it's all in the same location. So that's very useful. Uh, one of the aspects I wanted to show you in the res folder. All right, let's get back out of here into our base. Let's close out. And since we're done with this, we'll delete it. But if you go back in here, it's still there. So if you wanted to clean it up, because it, it, you can get rid of it that way, and then it's totally gone. Get back out of here. Close this. And that up. process of externalizing, of putting them in a like a centralized ex location, allows you to be very flexible in the creation of your apps. Uh, you'd be able to support uh, specific device configurations, uh, different languages or screen sizes. It doesn't stick you to one specific format, one specific formula. You can adapt uh, to different environments. It's extremely handy. Uh, and in this world of multiple phones and multiple interfaces, it's, it's a must. You could, for example, have a different layout for landscape versus, say, portrait. How you do that is create landscape variation on this. And then you can make changes to this. And when you switch between the two, automatically you've got different variations of the same thing. Now, this right here indicates that it's actually in a different folder. You can't see it in the Android view, but if you wanted to go over to packages, then you can see the layout land actually has a different uh, file in it that you're using. So, but we're going to stay in Android just because it simplifies the view and uh, that's the one that's going to be used in this tutorial. 
Now, if you want to delete this, there's a little problem because of the name convention. If you delete one, uh, the safety features involved with that will actually delete both of them at the same time, so you won't have any activity main. So one of the things you can do is go into here and uh, show and explore, and make sure it's in the layout land. Click it, push del uh, push delete. It'll go away. Come back in here, it'll reload, and you'll be back to your original activity main without the additional side view, landscape side view. One of the things you may want to take notice of before you exit is this right here, because we're uh, changing the format of things, it always goes back to this default for some reason, and uh, I haven't messed around with uh, making the new one the default, so I'd like to change it back to device default light, uh, just so that I won't get the uh, rendering error every time I start up the program. But you don't have to if you're just going to go the straight on to the next tutorial. That's just a little uh, little cosmetic fix. So this has been Ace's John, and there will be another video following this one about uh, different aspects and the background and the organization. And I hope you join me. This has uh, been fun and exciting for me, and I hope it has been educational for you. I hope you decide to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.